Oh my god, man. Wait. Oh no, I missed. I missed. No, I gotta do it all over again. Oh my god, this game. This game. I really was not expecting this uh, let's play to last like more than an hour, but it's, it's coming up two hours. Like, wow. Mario really can't be this hard. It's not a long game, but it sure is hard as hell. I'm sure Game Genie could help me out if I had it, but I don't. Nah, even... Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have it. I'll probably end up buying it one day for the sake of it, but... Even if I did have it, like, I wouldn't use it for this Let's Play or anything. Or I wouldn't, like, use it for Castlevania either or anything at all. I know, it, it just takes the fun. It takes the fun out of it. Alright, here we go again. Like, really, I am this close to, like, breaking this controller. It would satisfy me so much if I did. Yeah, that's really weird in itself that, you know, we get angry and we just smash the controllers. It's like, why do we do it? It's not as if, I don't know, it's not as if, like, the game can feel pain. You know, it's like, it's not as if the, the game or the console or controller can feel pain. And, like, you know, it's as if, like, we think that, like, it's as if we're imagining, like, as we smash the controller, it's as if we, as if the console is feeling pain, and it's like we want to teach the console a lesson. But uh, yeah, no, that sounds like stupid, but it's obviously, you know, obviously it doesn't. It's not alive. It's just an object. But like, why do we smash controllers? It's as if we're trying to teach the console a lesson for making us lose. Uh, I, I know it's not with just with games, it's just in general, in life, in anything. Like, most of the times when human beings get angry, we just... People, you know, they like to smash stuff, they take the anger out on, on stuff. Whatever. When it comes to something expensive like a controller, like a PS3 controller, why do we do it? Like, in, it, it in no way harms the game, you know, it's not teaching the console a lesson. It's just like you have, you're just like making yourself waste like 30 quid or something. Oh. There you go, some plant plants do come out with that third pipe. Fuck off, you fucking piece of shit. I lost my fire flower. <sighs> the worst part about having a Cold as a blocked nose. I know the cough can get really annoying, but no, it's just the blocked nose is the worst part. Like sometimes trying to breathe through it, like you're just walking and if you have a blocked nose and you're trying to breathe through it, it's just like you're breathing so heavy and like everyone thinks you're out out of breath or something from walking. So it's really annoying. Here we go with the uh, tense bit. Well, that bit wasn't too bad. I guess I got used to it. Those rockets really don't do much. Just like jump over them. Or they're easy to dodge pretty much. Oh! Now if the rocks came... If the rockets came on that bit, with those descending platforms, you would be screwed. I mean, that would be literally impossible. Okay. Uh, we've got three lives, I got a power-up ready, so I won't have to waste time trying to collect the first power-up on this level. Let's give it another whirl. Another go. Uh-oh. I so thought I was, like, gonna hit that. Look how awkward- oh, fuck off, you bastards. Yes, I think the- Oh, yes! Now that's lucky, eh? I, like, because the screen is kind of like halfway moved off that block, which like emits the rotating fire thing. The 
fire thing is kind of like deactivated, I guess you could say, so... Yay. I got so lucky there. But this is the bit where I always lose my uh, power up on. I mean, when I'm small, you move a lot. When you're sm oh, what the fuck, man? Why do you why do you lose your power up if you hit it like that? Why? If you hit it from below, it's just ridiculous. It's gonna be a hidden power up for me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The impossible. Get past this bit without a power. Oh shit, time's running out. I'm gonna wait for him to move back because he's a dickhead. Oh, fucking hell, that's close. See? There's no way to get past that! Here we go, again. Oh my fucking god! I pressed the jump button. I pressed it. Such a bad game. Oh, fuck's sake. Seriously, how the fuck did I jump down that hole? The game is against me. The game is alive. It knows I want to do this. Oh, what the fuck? Why didn't they bounce back? Get back here. This fucking stupid mushroom. Uh, I should take some sort of pills to, like, uh, calm me down. I don't want to be angry. I'm sure I play. I would play a lot better if I wasn't this angry. Maybe I should take a break or something. Well, I've almost been recording for a full hour, so uh, when it hits 60 minutes, I think I'll s have a five minute break or something. Besides, I don't want to make the file size too large. Having more than 60 minutes in one video file, not a good idea. Since it kind of messed, that's why my audio went out of sync. Those of you who have like followed me since so two and um, well, uh, if you remember, like on uh, a part of a part of the so two let's play, the sound went out of sync really badly for a little while. I think that's because uh, the video file went to two hours. So ever since then, I've assumed that if you make a video file, a uh, video file like about you know two hours long or, or whatever, it just makes it fucks up the sound. I think. That's what I'm assuming, because it's never happened to any other video, and I've never ever made any other video over two hours long, so that's kind of something I do now. I never let a video go over one hour. Well, I'll let, I'll let, I'll, I will let a video go over 60 minutes long, but I tend to stop it sometime after that, because when it gets to two hours, it's as if... It doesn't seem stable anymore. Oh, shit. Um, how am I gonna get up the- Alright, oh, I let's see. Feels so good to have this, uh, fire flower. Uh-oh. Oh, so close. Uh-oh. Almost jumped off that into the rocket. Uh oh shit! Ah, one thing I hate about this is like, I mean, this like, you know, you get the mushroom, that's the first power up, and then you can get the fire flower or whatever you call it, which of course is you know the second power up. Like, and I think in every single Mario game, if you get hit when you have the fire flower, like you get downgraded to just being big, so. So like in a way you have like two hits, like I, is it, is, it was like that in most uh, Mario games I think. I'm not sure about the third one but 
I don't know, it's just like... For this one, if you have the fire flower and then you get hit, you just get downgraded back to the start and you get one, like, hit left. Which is kind of... Um, I don't know, just not fair. Oh shit. I'm so... Oh my god, like... <laughs> this is very uh, adrenaline inducing. Oh, whoa, oh, wow. That was intense, and wow. I, I, I didn't see myself getting hit by a flame now. Suck on this, you bastard. Yes! Oh, yeah. Hello, uh, white guy, mushroom guy. I don't know what this guy's called. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Like, I've got a... The biggest smile on my face ever. Right. So what, for you guys watching this on YouTube, the part is going to end here probably. Because I'm going to stop recording and begin recording about 5 seconds later. Because the video size is getting a bit big. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Tune in for the next part.